Flash for the non-geek and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to animate a button around a stage and when you roll over the button the button's going to stop when you roll off the button the button's going to keep going one quick thing before I continue if you're in Flash CS4 you're going to have to do one little thing before you can continue with this exercise go up to file publish settings click on the flash tab and make sure you got flash player 8 and action script 2 and then once you do that just hit OK now you should be all set and if you have any questions you can email me at info at nongeekbooks.com if you want any of the files for any of my video lessons you can go to nongeekbooks.com click on the YouTube button and there should be a page full of files and stuff I uh, also have a book for sale it's hardcover digital download 600 pages of just jam-packed information and, and it shows you how to create all these cool dynamic flash projects and you don't have to write any action scripts it's really cool stuff so here's what we have we have a background which is an ocean layer and I'm gonna go ahead and lock this because we're not gonna do anything with that and then we have a balloon before we do anything we need to convert this balloon to a button and we do that by selecting it go to modify convert to symbol click on button and we're gonna name this balloon button. So now that it's a button we're now going to animate it and the way we're going to animate it is by using a motion guide. So we're going to click on the add motion guide button. If you're on Flash CS4 you may have to right click on the balloon layer and select classic motion guide. But if you're on Flash CS3 or earlier just click the add motion guide button and you'll get this new layer. As soon as this new layer comes up grab your pencil tool and we're going to draw a circle. We're not going to close the circle, we're going to leave a little gap as you see there. And I'm actually going to zoom in so you have a better idea of what I'm doing here. So we want this balloon to start here and we want it to end at the end of the path line. But before we do that we need to add some frames to our timeline. We'll go to frame 50, highlight frame 50 for all three layers. Right click and go to insert frame and since the blue needs to be over here on frame 50 we have to add a keyframe so right click on frame 50 of the balloon layer and go to insert keyframe and we're going to move this over next thing we'll do is right click any frame between frame 1 and frame 50 in the balloon layer and go to create motion tween and you should have your balloon layer it's pretty nice so we're going to go control test movie to see how it's going to look on the internet yeah, it's a bit fast. The way to slow it down is by click and dragging across a bunch of frames, right clicking, go to insert frame, and you notice our timeline just got a lot longer. So we're going to go to control test movie. There we go. Pretty cool. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the have the balloon tell the timeline to stop when a person rolls over it. So we're going to select it, open up the actions panel. If you don't see the actions panel, go to window actions. Mine's already open. I'm going to double click it. And make sure my balloon is still selected. And here's the thing. you got to make sure your script assist is turned on. This is, is this little button right here. When you click it, your window should get a little bit tinier. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this balloon tell the main, main timeline to stop. And the way we do that is this little panel over here. We scroll down until we see deprecated, actions, and double click tell target. In the target window we're going to type in underscore level zero slash. This just means main timeline, which is up here. That's all this means. And we want it to stop when we roll over the button. So we have to go over here in this panel, go to the Global Functions, Timeline Control, and double click Stop. So that's it. That code is finished, except we don't want it to happen when the person releases the mouse button. We want this to happen when the person rolls over the balloon. So click on Release in the window. You'll get this mouse event window. Click on Rollover, Drag Over, and Uncheck Release. So now we're going to test it by going to Control Test Movie boom when we roll over it it stops and you'll notice that if we had kept it on release and got a control test movie see how it doesn't stop when you roll over it but if you can roll over it and click it stops that's too tricky 
So we're going to go roll over, drag over, keep it like that. Now, we're going to add one more piece of code. We're going to click on the closing bracket here and go back down to deprecated, actions, tell target, type in uh, underscore level zero again, slash, and this time we're going to have it play. Go to global functions, timeline control, and double click play. And there you go. Now we don't want this to happen when the person releases the mouse button. We want it to happen when the person rolls off the button. So click on release, go to roll out, drag out, and uncheck release. And now we'll go to control, test movie, roll over it, stops, roll off, keeps playing. Nice. Now if your animation is choppy, you may want to go up to modify document, make sure your frame rate is around 30. If it's a 12, you ought to change it. So that's it for this exercise. Hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, you can e email me at info at nongeekbooks.com. And uh, hope you check out my other videos. See you later. Okay, see you later.